and gentlemen, and welcome to Gameplays on Game Boy TV. Gameplays edition of Tamadachi Life. Now, we're not going to try doing too much. I'm a little bit exhausted from work, but this is the only time I can film for today. We have $196.60. The night market is now open. You could buy a mystery bag for $50. And. Ooh, chocolate sundae. Oh ho ho! An expensive looking vase. For the pawn shop, that's of, of course. And a striped tunic. Come back, uh, let me save first. Sometimes I actually have this game on. Um, so, yeah. Let's check out what's new in... In the uh, Food Mart. Gummy candy. No artificial flavors here. Just soft, chewy, sugar, squashiness. For 50 cents. Shashimi. The best part of Shashimi... Uh, no cooking required. Eating without heating. For the win. Have a nice day. Now, in terms of the newscast, um, we could actually spend time. I actually got a news story um, that I think that could really thrill everybody here. So uh, we could spend the majority of this episode on that. But uh, here we have the soccer stadium. They're all cheering for you. Hot shot. Grab a ball and go for the goal. Rock club. It's time for your hardcore rock debut. Don't worry about the empty audience. Well, we could buy that. The soccer stadium costs $1,100. And the Frontier Sunset is just you and your wagon out in the middle of nowhere. Beware of rattlers. Come back soon. But I'd like to see what, how much that expensive vase looking vase cost four hundred dollars it's tempting but don't break it think of all the games you could buy instead yes four hundred dollars let's see who's at the theme park oh it's just Nick actually that newscast we could probably save for the very end of the episode instead of doing Quirky Questions, Judgment Bay, or Singing a Song. Here we have my cousin Anya, just sitting on the fountain. Okay, we've got fulfill, we've got a lot of different requests. We've got three orange bubbles. Richard is hanging out with Ruth. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm so mad I can scream. Come on. I had a fight with her. I'm so upset. Gotta make up. Please help me calm down first. Alright, alright, alright. Let's see what we can give you. Come on, Anne. I'm sorry about what happened. I'm sorry. Yes! Forgiveness! I hated when Islanders fight, but this is the result we should always get. We made up. Thanks for your help. I want you to have Ooh. this. Woo! Way to go, Marquis. Anne and I disagree sometimes, but it's pretty rare. <sighs> Rich got a request. Hey. 
I'd like to introduce Lexi to somebody. How about Brandy? What should we talk about to help them get Well, along? Brandy is a trendsetter. Okay, I'll invite them both over. Ooh, don't know if that was the right choice. Boy, they're having a long chat. Oh, it didn't work out. They didn't really hit it off. I know I'm great at all, but who knew Brandy and I become besties? Let's feed rich Brussels sprouts. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's see. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, both of them are brushing their teeth. Eddie's at the tower. Just staring up into space. My cousin Lexi. He scared the hiccups right out of me. Please look inside my belly. Uh, okay. It's empty. Completely false. The correct answer is false. Next up, your second Islander fact. Pat and Pat Salas are in the same personality group. Nope, that is absolutely false. The correct answer is false. And finally, the last Islander fact. Edwin and Yaya -Ya are both super hungry. I don't know about that. I'd say that's true. Ooh, yes. I didn't even visit them, so I wouldn't know what their tummy would look like. Oh, that depends. Depends on your situation. What's up? I'm starving. Sashimi. All right, good. Okay. We let's wrap up the last request. Buster has a heart. And I think I I I think this could be what it is. Finally. Oh, 
Thomas and I have been thinking about having a baby. I'm so glad you think so. Here, I want you to have this. And don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, I've, I've almost caught up with filming, with getting Jacob's episodes up to YouTube, so... In any worst-case scenario, I'll probably just film wh whoever Alyssa and whatever Bustin' Alyssa's baby is. Now, let's take a look at that newscast. Let's watch tonight, and then we'll go to last night's newscast. It was discovered today that Kimberly has a cavity. This image shows the bacteria that has made itself a hole on Kimberly's tooth. According to the dental report, Kimberly has been forgetting to brush her teeth before going to bed. In related news, she's been eating lots of spaghetti and crabs. We asked some islanders for their thoughts on the matter. Hi, Mom. Send money. <laughs> Thanks for watching. For your 8 o'clock me news, this is Christian Chelsea, signing off. Okay. It's called the 2014 Fall Winter Collection. This is me news from the 20th of August, 2014. The 2014 Fall Winter Collection debuted on the Made in Fashion Center on Way this week. A new popular designer on the scene, named Richard, showed his latest fall and winter themes. Popular designer, Rich! Look, I'm now the photographer. I'm one of those photographers for those runway shows. Lexi in her style and sleek black suit and bun. Richard with a dragon's mask on. Boy, those those are usually cosplays. I guess in Tamodachi life, they're viewed as, uh, uh, they're viewed as fashion. Fashion collections for the fall and the winter. Rich, you look like a Teletubby with that antenna, with some, that thing sticking above your head. Ooh, Eddie in his cat suit. Showing off a lime green suit. Oh, uh, not a lime green, a uh, turquoise. Hey, that doesn't look too bad. Got that star sh image shirt and brandy with a pink, pink tux on. Anya. Sorry, I'm not familiar with all the suits and jackets and uh, shirts and masks. Captain's uniform for Lexi. Looks like a mermaid suit for Ayaya. And Buster has a bowling shirt on. Oh, look at Chan Chan. And a golden strawberry mask. 
and a pink pink dress or something. Root uh, uh, TR showing off his vest, bright green, and a very Phantom of the Opera-like mask for Richard. Angie looks like a joke, the Joker, and Nick with a baby chick suit. Buster looking really sleek with that uh, that rainbow hat and some casual clothing. Whoa, did I just see Richard with a dress, a lady's dress on? Wow. All right. We asked some islanders for their thoughts on the matter. You're all doomed. We news guys work really hard, don't you? Thanks for watching. For your main news for August 20th, this is Brandon Moffat signing off. Oh, that was certainly an interesting one. Thanks for watching another great installment of the Gameplays edition of Tamadachi Life here on Game Boy TV.